Tonight, we embark on a journey with God. We'll surrender all our anxieties to Him. But before we begin our journey, take a few moments to center your heart and mind on God. Loosen each part of your body, starting from the top of your head down towards your toes. Relax your forehead, soften your jaw, loosen your shoulders and back, feeling your whole body becoming weighted, heavy, soft, and warm. Now focus on your breath. Feel it moving in and out, breathing naturally. Breathe in God's peace and presence. Ask for God's Spirit to surround you as I pray by reading the words. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. Isaiah 26 verse 3 You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God. 1 Peter 1 verses 8 to 9 Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. 1 Timothy 4 verse 7 Have nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths. Rather train yourself for godliness. Acts 16 verse 31 And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. 1 Kings 19 verse 5 And he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. Jeremiah 31 verse 26 at this I awoke and looked, and my sleep was pleasant to me. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14 The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11 Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. 1 Peter 2 verse 21 For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you might follow in His steps. Acts 28 verse 28 Therefore let it be known to you that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 12 Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might and in your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. 2 Corinthians 5 verses 16 to 18 From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. 1 Peter 3 verse 14 but even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you will be blessed. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Job 11 verse 19 you will lie down, and none will make you afraid. Many will court your favor. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 15 The spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 for this reason I remind you to fan and to flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. Job 14 verse 12 So a man lies down and rises not again. Till the heavens are no more, he will not awake or be roused out of his sleep. 
1 Thessalonians 4 verse 14 For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Ephesians 2 verse 8 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. 1 Peter 4 verse 1 Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves with the same way of thinking, for whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 5 For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. 1 Corinthians 4 verses 2 to 4 Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself, for I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Job 33 verse 15 In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, while they slumber on their beds. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 1 verse 8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. 1 John 4 verse 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10 For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Daniel 2 verse 1 In the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. His spirit was troubled, and his sleep left him. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 8 to 10 
We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. 1 Peter 4 verses 12 to 19 Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or as a meddler. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. John 11 verse 11 After saying these things, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. Acts 1 verse 8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Galatians 2 verse 21 I do not nullify the grace of God, for if righteousness were through the law, then Christ died for no purpose. Daniel 6 verse 18 Then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No diversions were brought to him, and sleep fled from him. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 4 verse 12 And there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. John 11 verse 12 The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20 For the kingdom of God does not consist in talk but in power. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 1 Peter 4 verse 11 Whoever speaks, as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves, 
as one who serves by the strength that God supplies, in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Acts 2 verses 42 to 47 And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together, and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all, as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 12 Sweet is the sleep of a laborer, whether he eats little or much, but the full stomach of the rich will not let him sleep. Acts 16 verses 30 to 33 Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their wounds. And he was baptized at once, he and all his family. Luke 8 verse 23 and as they sailed, he fell asleep. And a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water and were in danger. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 for this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out. John 3 verses 16 to 18 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. Genesis 2 verse 21 so the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and while he slept took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, 
He is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to give you the victory. 1 Peter 5 verses 6 to 7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Colossians 3 verse 10 And have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Mark 4 verse 38 But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? 2 Timothy 3 verse 12 Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Ephesians 3 verse 16 That according to the riches of his glory he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in your inner being. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Galatians 6 verse 2 Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Mark 5 verse 39 And when he had entered, he said to them, Why are you making a commotion and weeping? The child is not dead but sleeping. Ephesians 4 verse 23 And to be renewed in the spirit of your minds. Hebrews 2 verse 10 For it was fitting that he, for whom and by whom all things exist, in bringing many sons to glory, should make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. Acts 4 verses 32 to 37 Now the full number of those who believed were of one heart and soul. And no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power the apostles were giving their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Thus Joseph, who was also called by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Ephesians 6 verse 10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Matthew 6 verse 34 Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Ezekiel 11 verse 19 And I will give them one heart, and a new spirit I will put within them, 
I will remove the heart of stone from their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. John 3 verses 17 to 21 For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world, and people love the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his works should be exposed. But whoever does what is true comes to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. Exodus 15 verse 2 The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Matthew 8 verse 24 And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. Galatians 1 verse 10 For am I now seeking the approval of man, or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Habakkuk 3 verse 19 God, the Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. To the choir master with stringed instruments. Isaiah 53 verse 3 He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Matthew 9 verse 24 He said, Go away, for the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Matthew 10 verse 28 and do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Isaiah 12 verse 2 Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation. Isaiah 53 verse 4 Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. Amos 3 verse 7 
For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hebrews 10 verse 22 Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. John 3 verse 36 Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. James 1 verses 2 to 4 Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Galatians 3 verses 1 to 7 O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. Let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun by the Spirit, are you now being perfected by the flesh? Did you suffer so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by works of the law, or by hearing with faith? Matthew 27 verse 52 the tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hosea 6 verse 3 Let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His going out is sure as the dawn. He will come to us as the showers, as the spring rains that water the earth. John 6 verse 44 No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up on the last day. Proverbs 3 verse 24 If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Job 1 verses 20 to 21 then Job arose and tore his robe and shaved his head and fell on the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 
John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Proverbs 6 verse 9 How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. Proverbs 6 verse 10 A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. John 15 verses 1 to 27 I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, either can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 Ah, Lord God, it is you who have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Proverbs 20 verse 13 Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will have plenty of bread. John 16 verse 33 I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Galatians 5 verse 4 You are severed from Christ, you who would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. John 16 verse 33 I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Psalm 3 verse 5 I lay down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. James 1 verse 25 But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. Matthew 5 verses 10 to 12 Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Psalm 4 verse 8 In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Isaiah 57 verse 10 You were wearied with the length of your way, but you did not say, It is hopeless. You found new life for your strength, and so you were not faint. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Psalm 127 verse 2 It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jonah 2 verse 9 But I with the voice of thanksgiving will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will pay. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Mark 12 verse 30 and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Matthew 10 verse 38 And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. John 7 verse 24 do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Luke 6 verse 37 Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Luke 19 verse 10 for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Philippians 1 verse 29 for it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake. John 8 verse 11 She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on sin no more. Mark 16 verse 16 Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 Then he said to them, Go your way, 
eat the fat and drink sweet wine and send portions to anyone who has nothing ready, for this day is holy to our Lord. And do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Malachi 4 verse 1 For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all evildoers will be stubble. The day that is coming shall set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. Philippians 3 verse 10 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. John 12 verses 24 to 26 Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Matthew 7 verse 21 Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Psalm 34 verse 19 Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Matthew 19, verse 28. Jesus said to them, Truly, I say to you, in the new world, when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Philippians 4, verse 13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Psalm 3 verse 8 Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be on your people. Revelation 21 verse 4 He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Psalm 18 verses 1 to 2 To the choir master A psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who addressed the words of this song to the Lord on the day when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Psalm 37 verse 39 The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their stronghold in the time of trouble. John 15 verse 2 Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Psalm 62 verse 1 To the choir master, according to Judithan, a psalm of David. 
For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. Romans 5 verse 3 Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Romans 5 verses 3 to 4 Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. Mark 2 verses 16 to 17 And the scribes of the Pharisees, when they saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, said to his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Romans 1 verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Psalm 27 verse 1 Of David the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Romans 5 verses 3 to 5 Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Psalm 46 verse 1 To the choir master of the sons of Korah, According to Alamoth, a song. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Romans 5 verse 8 But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6 verse 14 For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law but under grace. Psalm 28 verses 7 to 8 The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exults. And with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. Matthew 4 verses 1 to 25 Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, 
If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verse 18 For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Psalm 51 verse 12 Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Romans 10 verse 9 Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exults. And with my song I give thanks to him. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Revelation 21 verse 4 he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Romans 10 verses 9 to 10 Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Romans 8 verse 35 who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? Psalm 29 verse 11 May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Revelation 21 verse 5 And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Matthew 7 verses 13 to 14 Enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Psalm 31 verse 24 Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Titus 3 verse 5 He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, 
but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Romans 8 verse 6 For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. Psalm 59 verse 16 But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. Matthew 10 verses 32 to 34 So everyone who acknowledges me before men I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. Romans 10 verse 9 because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Psalm 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Romans 12 verse 1 I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Zechariah 4 verse 6 Then he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Matthew 10 verses 36 to 38 And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable and perfect. Titus 3 verse 5 He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 19 verses 29 to 30 And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Matthew 23 verses 11 to 12 The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Proverbs 16 verses 2 to 3 All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirit. Commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will be established. 
Psalm 101 verses 1 to 8 A Psalm of David I will sing of steadfast love and justice to you, O Lord, I will make music. I will ponder the way that is blameless. O oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. Romans 5 verses 1 to 2 Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out. Romans 8 verses 6 to 8 For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law, indeed, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Colossians 1 verse 10 So as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Acts 20 verse 28 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock, in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Isaiah 55 verse 7 Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Colossians 3 verse 20 Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Colossians 1 verse 14 In whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Colossians 3 verse 22 Slaves, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters, not by way of eye service, as people pleases, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 5 So that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Colossians 2 verse 6 Therefore, 
As you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him. Hebrews 11 verses 1 to 40 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their commendation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was commended as righteous, God commending him by accepting his gifts. And through his faith, though he died, he still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not found, because God had taken him. Now before he was taken he was commended as having pleased God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 17 I know, my God, that you test the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. In the uprightness of my heart I have freely offered all these things, and now I have seen your people, who are present here, offering freely and joyously to you. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30 And because of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Ephesians 1 verse 7 in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Luke 6 verse 27 but I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20 For you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, Work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. 1 John 5 verse 4 For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Ephesians 1 verse 14 who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it, to the praise of his glory. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Luke 6 verse 37 Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So, whether you eat or drink, 
or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Ephesians 5 verse 10 And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Ephesians 6 verse 6 Not by the way of eye service, as people pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 23 You were bought with a price. Do not become slaves of men. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 For we walk by faith, not by sight. Ephesians 5 verse 2 And walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. 1 John 3 verse 3 And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Luke 17 verses 3 to 4 Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day, and turns to you seven times, saying, I repent, you must forgive him. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 33 just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, that they may be saved. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Ezekiel 33 verse 11 Say to them, As I live, declares the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways, for why will you die? O house of Israel. 2 Timothy 4 verse 7 I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Exodus 13 verse 13 Every firstborn of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb. Or if you will not redeem it, you shall break its neck. Every firstborn of man among your sons you shall redeem. 1 John 3 verse 16 By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Luke 23 verse 34 And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. 1 John 3 verse 22 And whatever we ask we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please him. 
For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent therefore and turn back that your sins may be blotted out. Galatians 1 verse 4 Who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Galatians 1 verse 10 For am I now seeking the approval of man, or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 4 But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak not to please man, but to please God who tests our hearts. Mark 11 verse 25 And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Colossians 3 verse 13 Bearing with one another and, if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Ephesians 2 verse 8 for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. James 1 verses 5 to 8 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. 1 Kings 1 verse 29 and the king swore, saying, As the Lord lives, who has redeemed my soul out of every adversity. Daniel 9 verse 9 To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against him. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 1 Finally then, brothers, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus, that as you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God, just as you are doing, that you do so more and more. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 
Galatians 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Matthew 6 verse 12 And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Matthew 6 verse 14 For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 1 Peter 1 verse 18 Knowing that you were ransomed from the feudal ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold. Galatians 3 verse 13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree, Ephesians 1 verse 7 In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. Hebrews 11 verse 5 By faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not found, because God had taken him. Now before he was taken he was commended as having pleased God. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 9 So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. 1 Peter 1 verse 19 But with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15 For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, either will your Father forgive your trespasses. Ephesians 4 verses 31 to 32 Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Galatians 4 verse 5 to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. James 1 verse 6 But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Hebrews 9 verse 12 He entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. 1 Timothy 2 verse 6 Who gave himself as a ransom for all, 
which is the testimony given at the proper time. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Hebrews 11 colon 1 13 colon 25 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their commendation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was commended as righteous, God commending him by accepting his gifts. And through his faith, though he died, he still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not found, because God had taken him. Now before he was taken he was commended as having pleased God. Matthew 6 verse 15 But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, either will your Father forgive your trespasses. James 2 verses 14 to 26 what good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Matthew 18 verses 21 to 22 Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. 2 Timothy 2 verse 4 no soldier gets entangled in civilian pursuits, since his aim is to please the one who enlisted him. Hebrews 9 verse 15 Therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. Isaiah 1 verse 18 Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Hebrews 13 verse 16 
Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Acts 5 verse 29 But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. Hosea 6 verse 6 For I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice, the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Isaiah 44 verse 22 I have blotted out your transgressions like a cloud and your sins like mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Matthew 26 verse 28 For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Jeremiah 17 verse 5 Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. Proverbs 10 verse 12 Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. Isaiah 52 verse 7 How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, Your God reigns. James 2 verse 17 So also faith by itself if it does not have works, is dead. John 5 verse 30 I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will but the will of him who sent me. Proverbs 17 verse 9 Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. James 2 verse 19 You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. John 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Proverbs 28 verse 13 Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. John 5 verse 44 How can you believe when you receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? James 2 verse 24 You see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Psalm 32 verse 5 I acknowledge my sin to you and I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. John 10 verse 10 
The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. John 8 verse 29 And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. Luke 2 verse 38 And coming up at that very hour she began to give thanks to God and to speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. Luke 1 verse 37 For nothing will be impossible with God. John 12 verse 43 For they love the glory that comes from man more than the glory that comes from God. Psalm 103 verses 10 to 14 he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. Luke 17 verse 5 The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. Matthew 17 verse 5 he was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Mark 10 verse 45 For even the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 9 verse 23 And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible for one who believes. Matthew 20 verse 28 even as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10 verse 52 And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. Philippians 2 verse 13 For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Psalm 27 verse 14 Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Philippians 4 verse 18 I have received full payment and more. I am well supplied, having received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. Mark 11 verses 22 to 24 and Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. 
Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Psalm 103 verse 12 As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. Psalm 107 verse 2 Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. Romans 3 verse 23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. 111 verse 9 he sent redemption to his people he has commanded his covenant forever holy and awesome is his name proverbs 16 verse 7 when a man's ways please the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him Proverbs 29 verse 25 The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Psalm 130 verse 7 O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption. Matthew 17 verse 20 He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, If you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, You will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, And it will move, And nothing will be impossible for you. Psalm 19 verse 14 let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Revelation 5 verse 9 And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransom people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. Psalm 149 verse 4 For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. Matthew 21 verses 21 to 22 And Jesus answered them, Truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Romans 8 verse 5 For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Revelation 5 verse 10 And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Romans 2 verse 4 Or do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? Romans 8 verse 8 Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Romans 12 verse 1 I appeal to you therefore, 
brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Matthew 21 verse 22 And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Romans 3 verse 23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3 verse 24 And are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Romans 5 verse 8 But God shows His love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 10 For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of His Son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by His life. Romans 12 verse 12 Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Romans 1 verse 17 For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith, as it is written, The righteous shall live by faith. Romans 5 verse 18 Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men. Romans 10 verse 17 So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Romans 6 verse 4 We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verse 23 And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, 
grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. 1 Peter 1 verse 3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Romans 10 verse 9 because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Romans 10 verse 10 For with the heart one believes and is justified and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 8 He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. Titus 2 verse 14 who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9 God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. 2 Timothy 2 verse 13 If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Galatians 5 verse 13 For you were called to freedom, brothers, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 17 If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. 1 Peter 1 verse 23 Since you have been born again, not of perishable seed but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 
Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. John 3 verse 30 He must increase, but I must decrease. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 1 John 3 verse 1 See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God. And so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Deuteronomy 7 verse 9 Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 2 Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. John 4 verse 34 Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. John 12 verse 26 If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, 
so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. 1 John 3 verse 9 No one born of God makes a practice of sinning, for God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. Deuteronomy 32 verse 4 The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice a God of faithfulness and without iniquity, just and upright is he. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 5 For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. Acts 2 verse 38 and Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. John 13 verse 16 Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. 1 John 5 verse 1 Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of him. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, either let them be afraid. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ephesians 1 verse 1 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus, and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. John 15 verse 15 No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. 1 John 5 verse 4 For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Acts 22 verse 16 And now why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on his name. Colossians 3 verse 12 Put on then, as God's chosen ones, 
holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. John 16 verse 33 I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. 1 Samuel 12 verse 24 Only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things he has done for you. Ephesians 2 verse 8 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Ephesians 2 verse 1 And you were dead in the trespasses and sins. 1 Samuel 26 verse 23 The Lord rewards every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness. For the Lord gave you into my hand today, and I would not put out my hand against the Lord's anointed. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. 1 John 5 verse 18 We know that everyone who has been born of God does not keep on sinning, but he who was born of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him. Luke 14 verse 23 And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. And do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Ephesians 4 verse 29 Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. James 1 verse 18 Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of firstfruits of his creatures. Galatians 1 verse 10 For am I now seeking the approval of man, or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Luke 22 verse 27 For who is the greater, one who reclines at table or one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at table? But I am among you as the one who serves. 
1 John 5 verse 20. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding, so that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. John 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mark 11 verse 24 Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 24 He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. Genesis 2 verse 24 Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. John 1 verse 12 but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. 2 Chronicles 19 verse 9 And he charged them, Thus you shall do in the fear of the Lord, in faithfulness, and with your whole heart. Mark 9 verse 35 And he sat down and called the twelve. And he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hebrews 10 verse 23 Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. John 1 verse 13 Who were born, not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man, but of God. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Mark 10 verse 45 For even the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. John 3 verse 1 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Matthew 6 verse 24 No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, 
or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. John 3 verse 2 This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Psalm 23 verse 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Matthew 20 verse 26 It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant. John 3 verse 3 Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exults. And with my song I give thanks to him. Matthew 20 verse 28 Even as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. John 3 verse 4 Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Psalm 31 verse 24 Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Matthew 23 verse 11 The greatest among you shall be your servant. John 3 verse 5 Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. John 16 verse 13 When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears he will speak and he will declare to you the things that are to come. Matthew 25 verse 21 His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. Psalm 32 verse 8 I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. 
John 3 verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Psalm 34 verse 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. John 16 verse 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Philippians 2 verse 5 Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. John 3 verse 7 Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Psalm 37 verse 4 Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Philippians 2 verse 7 but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. John 3 verse 8 The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2 A Song of Ascents I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lamentations 3 verse 23 They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Luke 16 verse 10 One who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. And one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Proverbs 11 verse 25 Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 8 A Song of Ascents I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will either slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. Luke 19 verse 17 And he said to him, well done, good servant. Because you have been faithful in a very little, you shall have authority over ten cities. Psalm 119 verse 125 I am your servant. Give me understanding, that I may know your testimonies. John 3 verse 36 Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. 
Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Romans 13 verse 4 For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Matthew 25 verse 21 His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. John 6 verse 52 The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Matthew 25 verse 23 His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. Romans 8 verse 31 What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Mark 16 verse 16 Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Romans 15 verse 4 For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. Numbers 23 19 God is not man that he should lie, or a son of man, that he should change his mind. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not fulfill it? Revelation 3 verse 20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus. Romans 3 verse 23 for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Philippians 1 verse 6 And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Romans 5 verse 8 but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, 
so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Philippians 3 verse 14 I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Romans 6 verse 4 We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Proverbs 3 verse 3 Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you, Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Romans 6 verse 6 We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. Proverbs 3 verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 14 verse 22 Do they not go astray who devise evil? Those who devise good meet steadfast love and faithfulness. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Proverbs 17 verse 17 A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Romans 10 verse 9 Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Proverbs 20 verse 6 Many a man proclaims his own steadfast love, but a faithful man who can find Titus 3 verse 5 He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Proverbs 28 verse 20 A faithful man will abound with blessings, but whoever hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. Psalm 12 verse 1 To the choir master, according to the Sheminith, a psalm of David, Save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone, for the faithful have vanished from among the children of man. Psalm 31 verse 23 Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Psalm 36 verse 5 Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Psalm 40 verse 10 I have not hidden your deliverance within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Psalm 89 verse 8 O Lord God of hosts, who is mighty as you are, O Lord, with your faithfulness all around you. 
Psalm 91 verse 4. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Revelation 2 verse 10. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have tribulation. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. Revelation 13 verse 8 And all who dwell on earth will worship it, Everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who was slain. Revelation 14 verse 12 Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. Romans 10 verse 9 Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Titus 3 verse 5 He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. His presence continually with a rod or with love and a spirit of gentleness. Do not box as one beating the air. that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Hopes all things, endures all things. To forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. ...themselves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. By these three, but the greatest of these is love. The spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. The perishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. good health, as it goes well with your soul. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect. And none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you knew, will he inflict on you, but he will lay them on all who hate you. 
will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. For us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. taking care of her own children. Voice of the Lord your God, and do that which is right in his eyes, and give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord your healer. but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. In deed and in truth. A quarrelsome, not a lover of money. A quarrelsome, not a lover of money. God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. I will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from among you. the eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Because God is love. Goodness and gentleness of Christ, I who am humble when face to face with you, but bold toward you when I am away. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish but that all should reach repentance. Crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. And your gentleness made me great. Another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. I have kept the faith. Beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. In good health, as it goes well with your soul. Bearing with one another in love. God who fights for you. Without fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. 
patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Time for war and a time for peace. Elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Things there is no law. Under be put away from you along with all malice. And his commandments are not burdensome. The Spirit. The Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Love covers a multitude of sins. You who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Add into the steadfastness of Christ. be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. With what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Everything together in perfect harmony. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Lent. Hems in his arms, he will carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those that are with young. Faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him, and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Heal, declares the Lord, because they have called you an outcast. It is Zion, for whom no one cares. That you are not consumed by one another. not his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. For when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him, with which he loved us. And I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. That you may be filled with all the fullness of God. This world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not from the world. This and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Do 
not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, either let them be afraid. 